So the SS Eastland was a Chicago-based passenger ship used for tours. It was launched in May of 1903. Unfortunately, the ship capsized July 24th, 1915. It rolled over onto its side whilst tied to the dock. Right about here, 844 passengers and crew were killed. The capsizing became the greatest maritime loss of life in Chicago or the Great Lakes. So the ship rolled portside into the Chicago River just before the lines were cast. 2,500 people were on board about to head out for an excursion and the time was around 7.30 in the morning. Because it capsized so suddenly, no lifeboats were launched or jackets handed out. The bow of the ship it was literally about 19 feet from the wharf and the ship came to rest in 20 feet of water. That ship was packed with people. Some were killed by debris, many drowned, and I guess some would have suffocated or been crushed. Volunteers began the rescue. They were made up of bystanders, people from nearby businesses, people from all walks of life came together to assist. Now apparently the Eastland had a problem regarding stability right from the beginning. The loading and unloading of cargo or passengers would cause the ship to list from side to side. She had almost capsized in 1904. As a result of that, her passenger capacity was lowered from 3,000 to 2,800. A later capacity was 2,572. Over the years, various alterations were made to the ship. Cabins removed, lifeboats added. The top smokestack sections were removed to shorten her stack height. The ship has been described as top heavy, so on that fateful warning, the ship had reached capacity when it began to list on the port side. The crew attempted to stabilise by letting water into the ballast tanks. It didn't work. At 7.28, the Eastland rolled completely. So many passengers had already gone below deck, so even though the ship was not fully submerged, they were trapped by falling furniture, other people and water. I can't even imagine that trauma. Those poor, poor people. Many survived, of course, but too many didn't. The last survivor from the disaster was a lady called Marion. She was 102 years old when she passed away in 2014. Way to go, Marion. So a later inquiry found that the disaster was caused by conditions of instability, overloading of passengers, mishandling of water ballast and the ship's faulty conditions. So whilst I can't visit all of the victims' graves, because they are all over the place, I've come to three cemeteries in Chicago to visit a handful of them. But may every single one of those people who were killed as a result of that disaster rest in peace.